As the main tank model of the British during World War II, the Churchill Infantry Tank remained in service from 1941 until the end of the war. The total production of all its series models exceeded 5,600 vehicles, but approximately 120 of these tanks were different from the other models. They were not produced by the original factory, but rather were tanks that had been modified on the front lines. These tanks are known as the Churchill MKF NA-75. On the North African battlefield during World War II, the performance of the Churchill infantry tank was not considered very good by the soldiers. Although its armor protection was decent, its firepower was too weak. The 75mm howitzer installed on the vehicle was proven to be not flexible enough, and the two-pound gun on the main turret was too weak in power. Even after being upgraded to a six-pound gun, it was still not sufficient, at least as a heavy tank. In the mid-World War II, Captain Percy Morell of the Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers of Britain discovered that armored soldiers complained that the main gun's howitzer had insufficient power to effectively kill infantry. He found an interesting thing in the tank damage reports that many salvaged Sherman tanks had lost their repair value, but most of their main gun structures were intact. This gave him the idea of installing the Sherman's 75mm main gun on the Churchill tank. This captain's idea convinced his superiors, and a batch of Churchill Minka 4 tanks were used for modification. The M3 75mm gun was installed, but this gun was not suitable for direct installation into the Churchill's turret. After removing the original six-pound gun, the turret opening was enlarged and the M34 gun mount was installed. Then the M3 gun was installed, and at the same time its breech was reversed 180 degrees for the loader to load the ammunition. The periscope and auxiliary machine gun on the turret were also modified, using American-style periscopes and 30 Browning machine guns. Because the front gun added weight, counterweights were added to the rear of the turret. Due to space issues, the machine gun on the left side of the gun had a lower elevation angle compared to the gun. The modified turret no longer looked like its original appearance. At first glance, it looked like the turret of an M4 Sherman. Although this combination was a bit strange and the guns were all second-hand, the soldiers reacted positively. After all, this gun gave them stronger firepower, and the tank carried enough ammunition for them to fully utilize it. As for other aspects of the tank, there were no significant changes. The modification mainly focused on enhancing firepower. This modified tank was named the Churchill Mekhi NA-75, where NA stands for North Africa, and 75 represents the use of a 75mm caliber gun. There were approximately 120 of these modified tanks. It is clearly recorded that these tanks were part of the 21st and 25th tank regiments and participated in missions in the Italian theater in 1944. Because the tank's slow characteristics remained unchanged, its mission still primarily focused on supporting infantry. As for Captain Morell, who proposed this modification, he was awarded a medal and promoted to the rank of Major. 